Well, traders, I guess I'm done for the day. This is how I'm doing. I've got uh, APA with a profit of over $1,600, Billy up $700, had an $800 loser in CRWD, um, did over four grand in Tesla, and I still have open uh, Billy with 400 shares, which I may keep for tomorrow, and um, APA long which is doing almost one point right now. So I've got almost six grand here in profits, which does not cover my yesterday's loss at $8,000, but uh, does take me back to a green 2020. Yesterday I may have been down like $1,000. Today I'll be up probably like five grand for um, 220. So back to green in 220, that's good. Anyway, traders, let's take a quick look here at uh, some of the trades. I'll put it over here so we can all see that more clearly. I posted um, APA long over 30.10. Now, with APA, you can see that the stock is up 21%. When the stock is up 21%, it uh, normally finds a lot of buyers. So started with a gap up, initially moved up, then came down. We took it at a pullback. Usually it would be a gap and go. We just need to find the right entry, the right opportunity to go on a gap and go. Um, this is the exact opposite of the trades that I take uh, usually by going short. Just look for it uh, to fail moving lower. Look for a reversal. Posted this one over 30.10. I think Danny posted it before me over 30. And of course, Danny was uh, more correct than I was. Anyway, that's a beautiful trade in APA. Also had um, Tesla for a long, posted Tesla over 458.70. So 458.70 would be around here. You can see this consolidation here in Tesla. This is kind of the same thing, not as much up as, uh, as uh, APA was. I mean, this stock is up just 1.6% right now. But again, went down with the market and that's what I want to talk about now because we watched the market earlier and I mentioned that the first 10 minutes you cannot really trust the market direction. So we started with a small gap down today and you can see that the market came down and at all time I was expecting this pullback to come. So when the market came down, Tesla came down too. That happened right over here. And then when the market pulled back up, Tesla felt like it could finally start moving higher. So Tesla was a very nice trade, started here, uh, moved out once it came down, but uh, took a partial somewhere at the highs. So again, you expect the market move, you expect it to stop moving down because the first 10 minutes or so doesn't really count. And then the market did stop, saw the pullback, Follow Tesla as it uh, came back up again. That was also a very good trade. Um, another nice trade was Billy Short. And if you take a look at uh, Billy, um, it came down very nicely. I mean, right now it's moving up. I still have 400 shares, but uh, it's a nice winner. And uh, Billy was posted short of under 22.80, which was right over here. So you can see, came down, pulled back up, came down again. So broke down under the lows and continued coming down under the lows. Right now it's moving higher. But the thing is with Billy is that you need to take a look at the daily. That's what's important. And again, if you take a look at the daily, you can see uh, that Billy, let's take a look at the last 12 months or two years, doesn't matter. Okay, so if you take a look at uh, Billy's daily, you can see that recently, the last few days, it came up quite a lot. Three huge upside days that took it from the area of $18.50 to $23. You would expect a pullback. I posted it as one of my pre-market picks today for short. Now, I don't know if it's going to continue. Uh, very likely, we're going to see Billy down to $19 in the next few weeks or so. So I've, I'm thinking maybe I should keep something. It's very dangerous because uh, it is on, on quite a big... Uh, upside momentum but after three upside days some pullback should come so it all starts by watching the daily for example if, we, if i'm going to go back to apa which i mentioned earlier i mean the the nice good the nice lost long trade we took earlier look at the big gap up today and look at the daily this looks really good so again it all should start at the daily 
uh, also had um, a long that failed in CRWD and here you can see that it is coming up with a nice momentum yesterday was a momentum so I was expecting a moment the momentum to continue today however the daily does not look as nice as APA as Tesla it does not even look does not look even slightly similar so took this one because it had a nice intraday momentum I like the way that it started with a gap down moved up um, reversed nicely here took it here um, the trigger point uh, was 56.10 so that was right over here and it worked out initially nice my target was reached really I mean but it just touched my target didn't give me a chance to uh, take a partial here I was hoping to see possibly a little bit more than that well if it would have moved another five cents or so I probably would have finished this trade in green territory but it came down and uh, as it happens it was a losing trade so I've got a great trade today uh, covered most of my yesterday's loss and I do hope that uh, you guys are doing uh, the same doing good today so thank you very much for being here with me today I will trade of course tomorrow and I'll see you all here so have a great day thank you for participating you guys in YouTube thank you for joining us and um, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up that would be appreciated uh, good to our channel so uh, thank you in advance and uh, thank you all see you all tomorrow bye traders thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.